I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Now the push drill has been languishing in its spot on the tool wall there and it's been wanting to have a spot in this spotlight. So we're going to give it a place to be. Coming out here and drilling a hole. Not exactly the easiest method, but it did work. And the push drill has gained its place and purpose on the tool wall because it is a tool that has been used. Now we will set the saw till up on the wall and anchor it in place. The screw is Long enough it's going to go completely through that half inch plywood that I have up there, so that's all the grip I'm going to get out of it. Shear off any splinters that might be on there causing a problem. And we'll get out our little torpedo level. screw in there. And one in over there. I think we're in a good position to put the saw till. That's going to give me enough room to get the uh, tools out from underneath it. Actually if I move this out of the way I can condense it a little bit further and bring it more down to reach because these come out this way.
and those squares go up and this goes up to come out so I think we're good I'm gonna put this screw in start the first screw Put the torpedo level on the lower beam and bring that up so that it reads dead center on the bubble. Now I can put the screwdriver back. saw till. Now the best part. I get to load the till. First, the distant D8. My thumb hole rip. Five and a half teeth per inch. Great saw. Then the distant D8 crosscut saw. Eight tooth per inch. Then one of my favorite saws, the Henry Distant and Sons number 12. Made in Philadelphia, USA, London Spring Steel. Beautiful saw. Then coming across the other way, the number 125 Shapley Hardware Diamond Edge. This one belonged to my father-in-law. It's an Atkins. The etch is long gone. And I haven't restored it because this was his saw. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be here. Now this is a distant saw, but it's called a warranted superior. It's just a really nice little saw. And this one is a distant that I got in 1973. 1973 I bought this saw so I could put the trim in my first house. Now the other saws don't have the same meanings as the first ones I put in here. They are saws that I've sharpened. This is a match set of Keystone pacemakers. This one is yet to be sharpened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen saws in there. Not a bad grouping. Four back saws, two small saws, and ten full size saws. This is something that I've been needing for quite a while. Happy to have it done. Now I still have a bit more work to do on the saws themselves. These three are finished. That one is finished. That one is finished and so is this one. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to sharpen. Still got a lot of work to do. If you have any suggestions for new video, questions about today's video or any of the other videos on the channel just drop a note in the comments you know i read them all thanks for watching